Dear students, welcome to the course of Computer Networks. In this lecture, we are going to learn different types of computer networks. A brief road map for this lecture. We are going to start with learning outcomes, what we expect to learn at the end of this lecture. Then we will discuss different types of networks that are available. Not all of them, but the most common types of network that are available. So the outcome for this lecture, the objectives for today's lecture is that you will learn different types of computer networks and you will also understand the characteristics of these different types of networks. Some of the networks that we are going to explore right now are mentioned here. We are going to start exploring personal area network and then we will study wireless personal area network, then local area network, Wi-Fi, metropolitan area network, wide area network and storage area network. However, beside from these networks, there is also an emerging network which is known as body area network. So first let us see what is body area network. Actually a body area network or BANE is sometimes also referred to as wireless body area network because we will see that the communication in this type of network is mostly wireless. It is also known as body sensor network or BSN. These are different names for the same network or sometime we can call it as a medical body area network or M pain. But let us see what is body area network. Actually in this type of network we install different sensors, medical sensor on human body or sometime we install these sensor inside human body beneath the skin. What type of sensors we can actually install? We can use different medical sensor, for example, a sensor for ECG, for measuring the blood pressure, for measuring the temperature of the body, for measuring the movement of the person. And normally these type of net networks are used to monitor the health condition of a patient or to monitor the movement of an elderly person. So these are like a medical body type network which is used to monitor the different conditions of the body and different types of sensors and actuators can be used in body area network as you can see here we have installed five different types of sensors on this human body after installing these sensors they will sense different parameters different measures they will collect from the body and then there is going uh, to be a gateway which will transform the collected data by using a Wi-Fi or any other type of wireless network to a data center or to a remote center or to a remote server by using internet as a big point. So here you can say for example we have a medical doctor here setting and he can monitor uh, the the health condition of this patient remotely and he can advise different types of medicines for example of di or different type of exercise to this patient and in case of emergency we can also send an ambulance or we can send paramedical staff to take care of this patient remotely so this is about the first type of network which is known as body area network let's move to the second type of network uh, which is very common and we all are aware of it. We all are actually using such type of networks in our daily life. And this network is known as personal area network. This is the smallest type of network which is very personal to a user or a device. That is why it is called personal area network. You can say that the coverage area of a personal area network is typically a few meters from few centimeter to up to a few meters. But it enable computers and other devices to communicate with one another. However, over shorter distances as the range of this network is very limited. So the devices are able to communicate over shorter distances. 
in a personal area network actually data transmission among different devices is possible and what are those, those devices that we can use in personal area network it could be your computers it could be your laptops you can connect your uh, your mouse with the computer by using a personal area network your headphone with the computer your smartphone with the computer your notebook your tablet your printer and other gadgets that you can actually connect to a computer and normally we use the USB ports for connecting these devices however that is not the only possible solution there are some personal area network by using which you can connect these devices without any wire or without using the USB port and such type of network is known as wireless personal area network or WPAN in short it is also a computer network which uses wireless technologies and what are those technology it could be infrared and it could be Bluetooth for example or other types of wireless communication technologies so wireless personal area network is a computer network which uses wireless technologies for communication and one of the best example of WPAN is the Bluetooth enabled connections in its simplest form Bluetooth actually is a technology that operate at 2.45 gigahertz band and the Bluetooth links have typically bandwidth around 1 to 3 megabit per second and it has a range of about 10 meter or maybe longer distances in some cases depending on the scenario so in simplest form Bluetooth network uses a master slave paradigm but we will not go into the uh, into the details of the Bluetooth technology however you must have to know that uh, inside the Bluetooth the devices has to have to play the role of either a master or a slave okay and normally we use uh, them to connect uh, our mouse with the computer by using a wireless technology we can connect our wireless keyboard by using the Bluetooth or etc different devices you can see here they are actually connected with the computer even you can connect another laptop with this laptop by using the Bluetooth or the other wireless technologies so using wireless transmission uh, with devices like PDAs laptop computers and portable music players an individual can actually transfer voice data text data and music from handheld devices to other devices like microcomputer workstation etc so it is very common now to transfer digital photos and videos from cameras to the computer by using Bluetooth technology or other wireless technology and it is also very common that you connect your hand free uh, with your mobile devices by using the Bluetooth technologies and likewise a user can download data from a computer to the to the portable devices to the smartphones by using a Bluetooth technology okay so there are plenty of other examples of this wireless uh, personal area network as well now let's move to the next type of network that we have available and this type of network is known as local area network we are using such type of network in our universities in our organization in our companies at our home as well so a local area network is also a small network but larger than the personal area network okay so it is a small network of computers and other devices what are other devices other devices could be your your printer your scanner your cameras or maybe your switches your routers etc they are actually interconnected with one another and typically the range of a local area network is larger than a personal area network because the range could be for example one kilometer so a lane is actually a network which is privately owned by an organization and it could be inside a single room or it could be inside a a home inside a building or maybe between different buildings which are in the close proximity of one another so it can be as small as a single room 
or it can even extend over multiple rooms or over multiple floors of the same building or between uh, buildings that are in a in a close proximity of one another local area network are widely used to connect to personal computers and laptops and consumer electronics to let them share resources and exchange information so a local area network can actually interconnect a variety of data communication devices but within a small geographical area and it also transmit data at high data rates so lane is operated under a single administrative authority and inside a local area network computers servers and printers and also other network capable devices they are connected and they can actually share information and for that they actually need a device which is known as network interface card this NIC or network interface card that will allow these devices to communicate with one another at any given moment another thing to remember about local area network is that local area network can be wide or it can be even wireless or in some cases it can be a combination of wide technologies as well as wireless technology another terminology that is related with the local area network is called the enterprise network actually when the local area network is used by a company then such type of local area network is known as enterprise network and normally uh, inside the local area network several computers are connected with the help of cables to a centralized device and this device could be a hub or it could be a data link layer switch hubs and switches are common devices that are actually found on the local area network well uh, as i just mentioned a local area network can be wide or it can be even wireless so a wireless lane is a type of lane which actually uses wireless technologies for communication and sharing information wireless computer network that actually links two or more devices using a wireless communication technology to form a local area network is what we called a WLAN. W stand for wireless and WLAN are very popular these days especially you can see WLAN in homes offices schools colleges universities, organizations, cafeterias, airports, bus stations and other public places. So they are everywhere. And another name for them is the Wi-Fi. You must be familiar with this word. So actually it refers to the WLAN. And in these systems, every computer has a wireless interface card as we just talked about NIC. We have a wireless interface card in order to connect to an access point your computer must have the wireless interface card and this is actually used to communicate with the access point and with the other computers or other devices so wireless local area network will allow you to connect to network resources without installation of cabling or without the headache of the wiring so this is uh, something that is very much popular these days now let's move to another type of network metropolitan area network you will see you will observe one thing as we are proceeding with this lecture the geographical area coverage uh, the geographical area covered by a network is actually increasing we started with personal body area network then personal area network then local area network and then metropolitan area network so a metropolitan area network is a network that is actually spanned over span over larger geographical areas a local area network is typically inside a single building or a set of buildings that are in close proximity for example inside a campus while on the other side a metropolitan area network is a network that interconnects computer in a geographical area larger than a local area network but the area covered by the main is actually smaller than a van what is when 
we will cover it in our next slides so metropolitan area network is a network that is actually uh, that actually covers area larger than the local area network but smaller than a wide area network it is like a sandwich between the two types of network now let's see what is a metropolitan area network it is actually a computer network that interconnects computers in a geographical area for example the geographical area can be a whole city so you can see that uh, a metropolitan area network can actually cover tens of kilometers of geographical area you can connect different offices in a city by using the metropolitan area network it can help an organization to connect all of its offices within a city because it uses high capacity and high speed fiber optics for such type of communication however Metropolitan area network are expensive in the sense that they use fiber optics. So they are expensive to implement. However, they will offer you a high speed connectivity. There are some standards that are available for metropolitan area network. And one of the standard that I know is known as A22 IEEE A22.16. And it is popularly uh, known as WiMAX. Okay. Now we have an example of a metropolitan area network. The best known example to understand metropolitan area network is the cable television network. In this figure, we can see both uh, television signals and the internet signals. They are being fit into a centralized cable. And there is a head end for subsequent distribution to people homes. So metropolitan area network can be used to support high speed uh, uh, television networks and providing internet connection as well. It can also be used uh, to provide high speed uh, disaster recovery system and also can be used for real time transaction backup system, etc. So they can also provide interconnections between corporate uh, core corporate data centers and also they can be used for ISPs etc so their uses are so many and this is one particular example the metropolitan area network uh, they have some spe specific characteristics as well one of the characteristics as I just mentioned is that men can cover greater distances normally than local area network for example you can connect uh, your different offices uh, uh, within a city so they can provide you greater distances and most metropolitan area network they can actually recover very quickly if a link or a switch or a switch or a router is failed so they are designed to have a highly redundant circuit so that in the event of a failure the network can quickly reroute traffic away from the failed component and this ability to reroute in the event of a failure is ex actually known as a fail over event but we will not go into the further details of that and there is another uh, terminology that if you are interested you can study it at your own and the name is sonnet actually this is something related with the implementation of the metropolitan area network uh, almost all metropolitan area network they are based on one of the two basic forms of supporting technology the first technology is the sonnet and the second technology is the ethernet now let's move further after metropolitan area network we have another type of network which is known as white area network as the name indicate w here is not for wireless it is for white area network now i have a question what will happen when a network expands into uh, a metropolitan area network like for example if we want something proxim proc within the proximity of a body we have to use the body area network if it is in the proximity of a person then we will use a personal area network if it is in within the single building or a single room then we have to use the local area network if we want to connect something within a city we will use the metropolitan area network what if we want to connect something between different cities 
or you can say between two different states or maybe between two different countries so in that case a network that we are going to use is known as white area network it is beyond the metropolitan area network it covers a wider geographical area which can span across different regions different states different cities different countries or even the whole world it can be worldwide they can be connected through fiber optics cabling or even with wireless technologies okay so there are some differences uh, that we need to understand between a local area network and a wide area network a local area network as we just saw is normally limited in size spanning an office a building a campus while a wide area network has a much more wider geographical area and also a local area network can interconnect host while a wide area network as we will see it will interconnect um, different connecting devices like routers you can see here we are connecting different routers they are at different parts of the world and there are also other differences but coming back to the wide area network as in this figure you can see a network that actually connect offices in Perth another office is in Melbourne and the third office is in is in Brisbane so the network that actually connect these hosts at longer distances is called the wide area network and there is another terminology that is known as subnet or subnet but we will not go into the details so in most wide area network uh, the subnet consists of two distinct components like the transmission line they are they are important as well as the switching elements they are important but details is out of the scope of this lecture and finally we have a type of network which is not very common or there is common but we are not aware of it and that network is known as the storage area network it is another kind of network and that we need to be aware of usually SAN stands for storage area network but formally it was known as system area network it is actually a dedicated independent high-speed network that actually interconnects shared poles of storage devices in multiple servers okay so a storage area network is actually a dedicated and independent high-speed network that will interconnect and deliver shared pole of storage devices something related with the storage devices so storage area network are usually confined to a single room it can be within a single room a single building and it actually connect the various components of a large computing system and they are primarily uh, used to access data storage devices like here you can see we have different storage devices and if you want to access these storage devices with the help of a network then such type of network will lead us to uh, the storage area network so they are used to access the data storage devices and these storage devices are like array of disk or RAID, different RAID labels a concept that you must know you must have to, uh, I'm sure you have studied the concept of RAID in operating system or other subjects so it is actually used to access the storage devices which is in the form of disk arrays and tape libraries for example from servers so it is actually a dedicated network of storage devices and these storage devices are not accessible uh, through the local area network for example there must be a fiber channel and that is common in the SAN technology that is used for high performance computing system storage so they are typically composed of hosts like we have here and it will contain storage elements in the form of array like we have here and also switches for example we have a SAN uh, storage area network switch here and one of the example technology is the fiber channel 
or it could be Ethernet as well. And they are interconnected by using a variety of other technologies and topologies and protocols. So they have their own network devices like the sense switches, like the storage devices and like the host here. And they, the, the main purpose of using a SAN network is that it will actually improve the application availability. It will actually increase or enhance the application performance. For example, offloading storage functions, storage network, etc. And it will also increase storage utilization and effectiveness. And sometimes it will increase the protection and safety of the system as well. So in summary, in short, it is a dedicated type of network which is used to control access to the storage devices. And you can actually access these devices from anywhere uh, by using the cloud network or by using the internet. So these were some of the uh, different types of network. Remember, there are also other type of networks available. For example, we have mobile ad hoc network, we have flying area network, we have vehicular ad hoc network, uh, we do have like the software defined network, we have the content centric network and so on. But these were some of the basic type of networks. Thank you for watching the video. Take care and goodbye.